Hi everyone, and welcome back to DD Academy. My name is Robert Gonzalez, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at HubSpot's two most prominent analytics tools to help you get the most out of your marketing efforts. Let's get started. To get to analytics tools, click reports and then analytics tools. From there, you'll notice a wide range of analytics tools for you to explore. But today, we're just gonna focus on traffic analytics and website analytics. Let's start with traffic. The traffic analytics tool at its core is a record of where your users are coming from to get to your website. This includes any pages where your HubSpot tracking code exists, including non-HubSpot pages. This is not a record of how individual pages are performing or even sets of pages. Your goal when using this tool should be to discover how each of your marketing channels are performing and what factors are leading to those results. Let's first begin with the sources tab, which is where you'll be spending most of your time. The first thing you'll see are a set of filters. By default, date range is set to this month, and you'll find this is the case across HubSpot analytics tools, but you can change it to be any period of time you wish, including just today, last week, this month, this year, or a custom date range. Just make sure you are aware of the set date range before evaluating your site's performance. You also have the option to adjust the frequency of the data shown in the chart below, filter by individual subdomains, or include slash exclude offline sources. Offline sources being any contact who was manually added to your database through things like a list upload. Next, you'll see an option to export data, which is a button that's found throughout HubSpot, and the option to save this report to a dashboard. We'll cover dashboards in a separate video. Next, we have a chart representing different parts of the data, including sessions, contact conversion rate, and new contacts. And finally, the actual sources report. Let's go ahead and set our date range to all data to get a better view of things. If we take a look at our numbers here, we can see that we have eight total sources of how users are arriving at our website. And as you can see, the vast majority of that site traffic comes from direct traffic and organic search. Each of these sources has their own basic set of data on how each source type is specifically performing, including sessions, new contacts, customers, etc. However, you may also notice that each of these sources are clickable. Clicking into each of these links will bring you one level deeper into the data of that source, so you can get more specific details about it. Not all deep dives will look the same, however. Take organic search, for example. Organic search are those who are arriving at our website by searching keywords through a search engine like Google. So if we click inside, we will find it giving us a list of popular search terms. Clicking one level deeper, and we'll get a breakdown of the search engines being used for those search terms. Next, let's take a look at email marketing. Here, you will find a list of individual campaigns and how they are performing. One level deeper, and you'll find how each individual email has performed within that campaign. Check the description for resources that describe each source type. The remaining tabs include topic clusters, which we'll cover in a separate video, UTM parameters, which includes data from tracking URLs, and finally, pages. The pages tab contains a list of all pages where your HubSpot tracking code exists, including pages not in HubSpot. It also gives you a high level overview of each page's performance, but if you want a more detailed breakdown of an individual's page performance, we need to move on to the website analytics tool. The website analytics tool differs from the traffic analytics tool in that its main goal is not to discover how users made it to your website, but how those pages are performing once users reach your website. Keep in mind, however, this tool does not include any non-HubSpot pages, even if those pages have the HubSpot tracking code. To get to the website analytics tool, go back to reports, click analytics tools, and then website analytics. Once you arrive, you'll find a lot of the options are the same including adjusting the date range and exporting your data. You can even still filter by domain by clicking filter pages here and then selecting domain. You also have the option to filter by language. A unique option here is to filter by page type, which includes landing pages, blog posts, and website pages. Scroll down and you'll find the full top level data report on all of your landing pages, website pages, or blogs, depending on which page type you chose. It gives you data like views, form submissions, new contacts, and more. 
If you want to dive a little deeper, simply click on any of the pages to get a full breakdown of that individual page. It even includes a little mini sources report. And that'll do it for HubSpot's traffic analytics and website analytics tools. Please leave any questions you have in the comments down below and check the description for additional resources. We hope to see you next time. Thank you.